Hi there, this is Dr. Rombody. I'm the instructor for CSE 231 to give you a little bit of an introduction to the course, how to get started, some tips and things like that. Uh, you know, one question is why are we here? Uh, clearly we are learning some programming, um, but what this, and, and, and I, I, ha I have a little video there about exoskeletons, which kind of shows, uh, you know, here's an application of computing that actually goes and improves people's lives. Computing's everywhere. You know, so what are we trying to do here? Well, this course is really about problem solving, and, and that's the hardest part of this course. Uh, you know, we, we give you problems to solve, and now you've got to not only figure out how to solve the problem, but you've got to figure out how to do it uh, using this particular tool, which is Python. Um, uh, you know, so our goal, actually, at the end of this course is that when presented with a problem, we'd like you to be able to say, uh, oh, hey, I could write a program to do that. So. Uh, Dr. Punch and I, for your, uh, back in, oh, now uh, over 10 years ago, uh, switched this course to, or I should say created this course in Python on problem solving using uh, Python as a tool to do that. And at the time, the book didn't exist in, uh, on, you know, for a uh, uh, first course for, uh, for programming. Uh, so we, we in fact wrote one and then eventually we created videos and that's how we have this, uh, th this course. Uh, so the, the, the concept of this course, it's a flipped class, is that uh, you read the text, it's required, um, and, and it's not so much that, that you know, we're, we're so enamored with our text, but uh, the videos are not there in, to replace the text, they supplement the text. After, and, you know, so, so you read the text, you, you, you get a, uh, an introduction to the material, the, the uh, videos supplement that by showing you how to do things. Uh, and, and so every week we have some readings, we have some videos, there's some chapter exercises, there's lab, there's programming project. There's a lot of pieces to this course. It's a four credit course, we're going at uh, a, a double pace because it's in a half a semester. So this is like having an eight credit course. Uh, even during the regular semester, it's very persistent. I mean, we are on you every day. You know, okay, you gotta do this, you gotta, and then the next day, you gotta do that. Week starts up and oh boy, we start all over again. Uh, so, so there is uh, a lot of work in this course because we've gotta take you from the assumption of never having programmed before to being able to solve problems and, and uh, write programs. Uh, so so there, there's a lot there. And when you look at, and I'll show you here in a moment, the due dates page, you'll see every day there's something new to do. Um, and one of the biggest mistakes that people make is not realizing that a four credit course, four credit engineering course, take it in half the time, that's like taking an eight credit course. Uh, if you're thinking that you're going to be taking, uh, you know, 231, Calc 2, and Physics and work a job at the same time, not going to work out. Um, be sure to allow yourself uh, uh, time for this. A lot of the details are in the syllabus. I'll point that out where that is. Uh, there is a web page that, that we have for this course. And, uh, uh, you know, we, uh, I, I suggest that, that you check that out. Uh, we, we also have a uh, presence on, on D2L, so check us out there. But this webpage uh, that I have here is really where uh, all, you know, a lot of the courses, that's where you find the videos, that's where you find the links to the uh, exercises and so on. And then everything, I'll, I'll, I'll mention that in a moment. Um, so there's, there's three components that make up the grade. There's programming projects, which are 45% of the grade. There's exams, midterm and final, that uh, make up 45%. And then there's exercises for, uh, for the chapter. Uh, labs are required, but they don't count toward the grade, except that uh, if you miss three of them, your final grade will be reduced by 0 0.5. You miss four, then we're going to reduce your final grade by a whole 1.0 and so on down. Uh, so, so they're required. Uh, they don't count to the points in the grades, but if you don't do them, then we deduct your grade. 
starting last fall, we started doing this. We, we uh, uh, started using this thing called Mirror Mirror. Uh, and, and it's, it's a great thing. It's a way to handle the programming projects and the chapter exercises. Uh, normally, there's a twenty-five dollar uh, charge. We convinced the dean to pay for it, so uh, you're not going to have to pay for it this semester. Uh, and how do you get to Mimir? You get to it uh, on a link off of D2L. So you go into D2L, you'll find a link for Mirror Mirror, and uh, Mimir, uh, you know, will will now use that as uh, as your registration uh, there are um, there are exams on on campus uh, and uh, I, I mean I'm sorry there are exams and when uh, if you if you do them um, on if you happen to be nearby then uh, we will, uh, uh, I, I will actually uh, uh, grab a room and, and, the, uh, and proctor, uh, or you can do them remotely. People will take this course all the way around the, the world. Uh, there is a $15 charge per exam because I use a uh, uh, commercial proctoring service. That's what allows us basically to be able to do this. Uh, there's, there is support. You will have a TA assigned to you. Um, and of course there is me. And uh, there's Piazza, which is an online place to uh, get questions answered. Uh, it doesn't really matter much because this course is completely online. I will be at a, a, a conference during the first week of the, of the semester, uh, but I, I will be available on, on email, which is the only place you're gonna find me anyways. Uh, note important. Collaboration, it's not allowed on programming projects. If you do that, you'll get a zero. You are allowed to, allowed to collaborate on chapter exercises and labs. In fact, we encourage you to collaborate on those, but not on the programming projects. Um, where do you start? Well, obviously you've done well just by being at this video. Uh, you're gonna download Anaconda, the, and, and we give you links for this. And basically, that's the, we, we do have this thing called Lab Zero, which is due Monday. Um, and uh, yeah, basically, that's uh, get Anaconda and hand something into uh, Mirror Mirror. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Uh, but there's a, a rhythm in the week. You read a chapter, you watch some videos, you do some chapter exercises, you do a lab, you do a project. Next week, it all starts over again. Uh, I already mentioned that. Pro tips, read the text, start your projects early. All right, so I, I uh, um, oops, let, let me back up to this. I mentioned this website here. What does it look like? Well, I'll show you. Uh, this is where it, uh, uh, this is where it starts. Oh, I, uh, it still says spring. I, I've got to got to fix that. Um, but there is, you know, where do you do? Well, there's a button called Start here that talks about the course, just the stuff that I've been talking about. There's a link to a syllabus. It's got all the good stuff in there. Read it. I've I've mentioned a few things. There's even some highlights on there for you. Um, but very, and there's a thing here about getting Python. Um, but here is where all the good stuff is. The, uh, uh, you know, that's the online link and it has things like the due dates page. And, and that tells you everything you need to do every week. Um, let me point out a few things. So every, every time there will be a, uh, a chapter to read and some videos to watch, uh, note, Monday, right away, Lab Zero. It's basically just download Python and, and get that going. But Tuesday, there's actually a lab to do. Um, a lot of work to get started with this. Uh, Wednesday, there's Chapter 1 exercises. By Thursday, we're already at Lab 2. And so on down. It, and and we, are, um, we are off and, um, uh, off and running. Uh, okay, so what, what else did I want to show you here? 
Um, you know, where, where do you find these things? Well, you can see here, week one, there's a link on, uh, on beginnings, and that takes you and says, oh, here are the videos uh, to start with, bunch of those about Python and so on. Um, oops, I'm still cleaning some things up here. Uh, the, that, that whole section there is going to disappear. Uh, what I'm trying to get this video out before I've actually cleaned up all the uh, all the web pages uh, Just because I wanted to get that out there for you when you download Python make sure you get Python 3 um, I, I don't really care 3 with any X that where that X is greater than 4 uh, and, and so what does Python look like well? Once you get it all installed, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. And, uh, and, and what you're going to do as part of, of Lab Zero is do the classic uh, print hello world. Although I think maybe you have some different punctuation in there. Uh, you, can, uh, you, have to, uh, uh, you have to save that. Um, and when you save it, uh, no, well, you're going to save it as I think I tell, you're going to save it as however I tell you to, which I believe is lab0.py, whatever it, whatever the instructions are for that. Uh, it's very important that you end that with PY, um, uh, because if you don't, then, uh, uh, it won't. The, the system won't really understand that it's a Python program. Um, so so there, there, are, there are instructions there about pieces of this, uh, but uh, that is, is a new file. That's what you use to open a file. That little disk there is, is saving a file, and there's the, uh, the button that, that we, we touched to actually run the program. And, when programs run, the output shows up in this window down here, and you will hear me refer to this as the shell. That's the Python shell. Uh, and, and this over here is your program. And so you write your program, and then you hit the go button, and any output and error messages will show up in the shell. So if I write this program hello world and I've saved it, you can see it saved it there. I hit the go and we see printed down here hello world. Now whether you use single quotes or double quotes it doesn't matter um, and I believe that without looking that the uh, maybe the lab has a comma in there. What you want to do is you want to make it uh, everything um, exactly as we specify because exact matters. Uh, once you have it written, then following the link in, uh, in D2L, that takes you to Mimir. Then on uh, uh, Mimir, you will find a, uh, a, a link to Lab Zero. And you will, and on there you will find submit. And what happens on there is a test gets run, and it will tell you it will try your program that you wrote. This whole one line program, right? I mean, you know, this 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 is this is our whole program here. It just has one line. Um, uh, you know, that will submit it, will test it, and will tell you whether in fact you did it right. Uh, the, the whole purpose of the Lab Zero is get Python downloaded and uh, see if you can get Miramira set up and submit it. Not much uh, to the program itself. So, uh, there's a quick introduction. Good luck.